Welcome back everyone. Day number 31. Going strong. I get a few viewers. I like it. If you watch this, leave a thumbs up. Uh, anyways, and thanks for supporting my channel. So it's been a month going hard on those push-ups. And yeah, no problem. But today I also want to talk about a certain topic. Let's talk about how to deal with times of uncertainty. And dealing with times of uncertainty can be actually, it, it is something pretty hard. Like it is not something that everyone can do. And it's really just like for a few select people. Because uncertainty scares us. If our brain doesn't know where we want to go, if we don't know where we want to go or what's going to happen, it's always a scary thought because not knowing where you're going is always linked to your survival. And and I have a, few, I have a little bit, a few simple tips how you can deal better with times of uncertainty. So what happens if you're uncertain? You're scared, like nerves come up. You feel some kind of emotions when you're also stressed. Uh, yeah, your stress level ri uh, rises up. So during, it is really important to get like full self-control. To get full self-control of your body, you can do it through breathing exercises. You can do it through like going through hard workouts or training martial arts, do something physically demanding that like lowers the, um, the demand for stress in your body because you always want some kind of some level of stress and doing ex exercising that's what our body is built for is like the best way to reduce that stress and if you want to gain like full self self control what's there better than to control your breath because we breathe all the time but we never think about it and once you take control of it dude that's like the ultimate form of self control if you can breathe slowly when you're tired, when you're gassed out, when you're angry and like, or increase the speed of your breath, it is like, like you really like are mastering yourself. So why is this important? Because in times of uncertainty, we get scared, we get stressed. And that's when our body starts doing crazy things. That's when our mind starts to go crazy. And the crazy thing about be uh, about the uncertain future is we don't really know where it's going. Why do we always have to think of disaster? Why can't we just control our mind and think in a positive way and think in a direction where we want to go? Because, and I'm not talking about a law of attraction stuff, but think about this. If you think about a positive outcome, you will walk towards a positive outcome. You will plan towards that positive outcome and take action towards that positive outcome. But if you're always thinking like everything is going to get terrible, then you're not doing anything that's going to be an advantage for you. Uh, I want to keep talking. I'm kind of, um, yesterday was a rough training day, but I have to do the push ups. Let's do the push ups and then we're going to keep talking. We're going to, yeah pick um continue this topic ah let's go see the difference on days where I feel fit and then days I'm exhausted or I push off the video I'm like dude I don't want to do these push-ups I don't want to do them I don't want to do them but here I am going strong Whew. 
So uh, why do we automatically always assume it has to be negative? Why can't we like predict a good future, a positive outcome, an outcome for our fit on our uh, for our favor? So the most important thing you can do is to take in every moment step by step. Don't think of anything ahead. And yes, if you do something, if you go a different route in life, you will face challenges you've never faced before. But the thing is, come in prepared and then also take on every challenge and focus on the challenge at hand. Don't be scared. Man up, woman up. Don't be scared and take on that challenge and master it and focus on what you can do in that moment to win. Don't focus on the outcome. Focus on whatever you need to do to win that situation. And then that's how you advance. That's how you level up in life. You have to do everything that comes at you without fear. Because how is it going to benefit you if you're constantly scared? If you're shitting your pants? Oh, what's going to happen next? Like, no. Trust me, dude, you're going to survive. You're going to be fine. You're going to be good. If you've done mistakes in the past, like, I know, got a bunch of debt or you ruined some relationships. You now people are after you. Like if you've done some stupid stuff, yes, the odds are against you and you have, you're going to be more scared but yeah you shouldn't have put yourself in that position in the first place but the the less you have to worry about the more you can go into that uncertain future and also the bigger the reward man like the higher risk higher reward so gain self control do something physically hard to lower your stress. Work on your breathing. These are the physical things. And psychologically, take on every challenge individually. Think positively. If a negative thought comes, be a master of your thoughts direct them in a positive direction. Why are you getting controlled by your brain? You're the one who can control your brain, dude. Are you aware of that? You're the one who can control your own brain. Don't let your brain control you. Fear is not real. It can warn us, definitely. If there's danger, it can warn us. But trust me, that fear is a liar. That fear in your brain is a liar. That fear that you get from your belly, from your stomach, that is a real signal of fear. That's, that's warning you there's danger. So start to listen to your gut, trust your gut. Your brain always tries to deceive you, but your gut will never, uh, will never lie to you. And if, you've, and if you've ignored your gut way too many times in your life, it's not going to be talking to you the way you want it to because it said because it says you ignored me a bunch of times and I don't think you need me so build that relationship back up with your gut if you want to be up for an adventure we did 40 push-ups <laughs> let's do 60 more let's see I think 30 30 or 40 20 oh. uh. And then let's stretch a little. Oh, let's go. Fifty. Sixty. Seventy. Oh, let's do some stretching. Oh. 
my hips are so tight. Oh. Now, if you can't shut your brain down, if it's always like trying to scare you, one thing you can do is you can look at these scary thoughts, those negative outcomes, and then always try to find an answer for those. So when they come, you're ready. Like, let me tell you this, like if it was easy, everybody would do it. I can't tell you, I, I'm not going to give you something that can shut your fear off like this. All right. You got to be strong in some way. Okay. You have to be strong in some way. So you can like, even if you're afraid to go against that fear. And it's up to you how you control it. Give you a few tips. If you want to talk to me, DM me on Instagram at think grow strong, put in the comments. I'll help you with that. <laughs> Let me tell you, man, like, it's kind of not exciting if you're not afraid of anything. Um, but yeah, put yourself out of your comfort zone because there's always something you can be afraid of. Let's finish those 20 push ups and then I see you guys tomorrow morning, I think.